Hey there, boys and girls. Here we are, day number 20, the final day of our February daily math. Number one, draw hands on the clock to show 335. Let's get that minute hand out right away, okay? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, right at that 7, right? Hey, 7 times 5 is 35. Very interesting. Hmm. All right, so we get that minute hand all the way out to the minutes. And it is 3.35. So our hour hand has to be somewhere between the 3 and the 4, right? So I'm going to put this, um, how about like right here? There we go. 3.35. All right, number 2. Um, 215 equals a number plus... 125. All right, so first we have 125. So to get to like 200, it would be 75. 10 more is 85. 5 more is 90. Mm hmm. See how I did that? Because I know. Without doing all the math on the side, that 25, 50, 75, 100, right? So I know that it's 75 goes with 25 to make 100. So 75, and then there's a 10 I need to get up to yet. So that's 85 and a 5. Uh, so we can also go like this. Let's go ahead and do 215 minus 125. Even though it's a plus sign, right? That's our big number. That's the top of the triangle. So 5 minus 5 is 0. 1 minus 2, we just can't do. More on the floor, borrow from next door. 11 minus 2 is 9. 1 minus 1 is 0. It's also 90. Same one we already got. Just kind of a fun way to do it. Sometimes it's just easier in your head and faster. Number 3. Today, Monkey Shines is going to the media center. He sees eight shelves of books. There are ten books on each shelf. Right away, I know you're already thinking eight times ten is eighty, but wait. He also sees three tables. Each table has nine books on it. Okay, I know. Right now, you're already thinking three times nine is twenty-seven. How many books does Monkey Shines see in all? I think you're right. Mm-hmm. Eight shelves of books times... 10 books on each shelf, right? And then we're going to add that to three tables. So we're going to do this one. And then we're going to do three tables. Each table has nine books, so times nine. So again, 8 times 10 is 80. And 3 times 9 is 27. 7 plus 0 is 7. 8 plus 2 equals 10. So how many books? How many what? How many books? 107 books. Very good, boys and girls. That was a really awesome problem to answer. That was great. All right, so we just have something we fill in here, or what do we do? Oh, here it is, something divided by 5 equals 6. Let's flip it around, okay? And let's do 6 times 5 equals, yeah, 30. So then we can also go 30 divided by 6 equals 5. So here we go again. 5 times 6 equals 30. And 6 times 5 equals 30. All right, love those fact families. All right, number 5, last one of February. My fraction masters have made it. Three hearts are white, one heart is pink, and four hearts are purple. What fraction of the hearts is purple? So again, let's get a total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight total hearts, and we want to know how many hearts are purple. What fraction of the hearts are purple? Well, there are four hearts, so one, two, three, four. Four out of eight are purple. We can also think of that as one half. I'll accept either one at this point. 
Awesome work, boys and girls. Uh, we'll see you for March.